What's up, squeegee slingers? Today, we are talking all about bad reviews and how do you handle them. So, let's get at it. Well, we all get reviews and it's bound to be bad sometimes. I mean, some people just don't get happy about anything and you're the one that ends up kind of taking the grunt. But don't worry, there's a few things that help you get through bad reviews. The first thing is try to flood in the good reviews, right? We want to water down the bad ones. You have a hundred good ones to one bad one. It dilutes the message and still comes across as a perfect or five-star company. The more good reviews you get or the more reviews in general, you're bound to get some bad ones. But keep doing amazing work, make an amazing experience, but get good reviews. The next thing you can do is to respond. There's nothing worse than a bad review that just goes unresponded. If you're not giving them any type of answer or explaining why they gave you a bad one, then the bad review just goes as a bad review. But the cool thing is on most platforms, you're able to respond to a review. Now, as much as it's important to respond to the good ones, responding to a bad review allows people to read your response. And the biggest thing you can do is respond by not being mad. It's super hard, I know, it is just super hard. But if you respond not mad, it allows people to see you calm, cool, collective, and explain your side of it. Don't do personal attacks, but just put it out there so people know why they gave you the bad review. The next thing to remember is that if you have all five star reviews, it's probably fake. All perfect reviews basically makes your company look like they are fabricated. So a couple bad reviews here and there actually make you look a little bit more real. There isn't a company out there that has perfect reviews every single time and never gets bad reviews and you're not gonna be one of them. Bad reviews actually can be a good thing when you use them the right way. The next thing to think about is that people read the bad review. Now, if I'm gonna buy something on say Amazon, I'm gonna go and read the bad reviews. Then if all the bad reviews are, well, the instructions are terrible, oh, the the packaging came damaged. Uh, it was hard to put together. If all the reviews are bad, don't make much sense and it's just people complaining, then I know the product is probably genuinely good. If all the reviews show that the product is garbage and it falls apart and people really can't return it, there's bad customer service and all those other things, then I know it's a legit bad concern. Now, like I said, you're going to get bad reviews and how you respond is basically the same as a review. It shows people that if this person complained about your prices and you said, I am genuinely sorry, but when we talked, you only said you had 10 windows and you actually had 32 windows. We did talk about the option of doing all 32 windows, but you decided to do all 10. Something along those lines discredits that review altogether because everybody knows people are crazy sometimes. And the last thing you can do is use the bad reviews. This one sounds weird, I know, but if somebody gives you a bad review, use it to your advantage. A bad review, especially in something that will help you explain a piece of your service will be better for everybody. If somebody says that you used a fancy broom with water, you can go in and explain that it's actually the most technologically advanced tool we have in window cleaning. And if you'd like to know more about it, I'd love to tell you. But something along those lines will take a bad review and use it as a good. And that's how you can neutralize a bad review. Remember, all companies are going to get bad reviews. You're not going to be any different. So just prepare for them and don't take them personally. Some people just have a bad day. If you like this content, do me the biggest and high five me with a subscribe on the YouTube channel. Make sure to check me out also. I'm a rep for WCR. You can call me, text me anytime. I wanna be your rep. And follow me anywhere you possibly can because that would be absolutely amazing. And all of those things are totally free. So until next time, go out there and be epic.